Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over question number seven on our epic must know trig identity proofs. This proof will be carried out using the fundamental identities. This standard is covered in trig and pre-calculus courses. Don't forget to take a look at the link in the description below to gain access to the worksheet that contains all the must know trig identity proofs and a link to how each proof is done. All right, so for number seven, the task um, is for us to prove that the identity sine theta cosecant theta minus sine square theta is equal to cosine square theta. All right, so let's go ahead and carry out the proof. Remember, the ultimate goal here is to show that the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side okay if we can accomplish that then we have um, been able to show that the identity is in fact true alrighty okay now if you direct your attention to the yellow box to the right you're gonna see the strategy that we've been implementing from number one to six in proving these fundamental identity problems we're gonna be using it for this problem also alright now if you take a look at the left side of the equation what you notice is that we have an operation namely minus and the square of a trig function sine okay anytime you have the sum or difference of the square of trig functions always think about pythagorean identities all right so when you look at the left side of the equation we do not have a pythagorean identity yet but the question is can we uh, modify the left side of this equation using the appropriate identities and write it as a Pythagorean identity? And then we'll be able to finish it, all right? So which Pythagorean identity can we apply on the left side of this equation? Well, the hint resides in the fact that we have sine square theta. Now, which Pythagorean identity has sine square theta in it? It is the Pythagorean identity sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals one. Okay. Now this particular identity has two other variations. Okay. Just by carrying out algebraic manipulations on this equation, we can achieve two other variations. What if we proceed to subtract sine square theta from both sides of this equation? We're going to be left with the next variation of this equation, which is cosine square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. And then uh, going back to the first one, first equation, um, what if we proceeded to subtract cosine square theta from both sides of the equation? That will give us the third form of this equation, which is sine square theta equals 1. 1 minus cosine square theta, okay? We can carry out more manipulations here, but these three forms are sufficient for this particular proof, okay? So now we have minus sine square theta. Which of these three forms of this identity, sine square theta plus cosine square theta has minus sine square theta? Is it the first one, the second one, or the third form? Clearly, it's the second one because we have that minus sine square theta there, okay? So the question is, can we convert this product of trig identities into one? And that will result in this form, convert it into cosine square theta, and we are done, okay? All right, so to do that, we're going to take a look at step number one. We've used this particular step for examples one to six. So hopefully you went over those and you're familiar with it. If you haven't gone over it, just take a look in the link in the description below and you can review those um, examples first so you can understand exactly what we're doing in this particular problem. Now, when you have the product of two trig functions that you want to simplify, an easy way to carry out the simplification is by expressing them in terms of sine and cosine only. If you do that, it's easy to see common 
trig factors that can be cancelled out. That's the ultimate goal. So we have sine. The first factor is already in the form we desire, which is sine. Now can cosecant be written using sine and or cosine? Absolutely. If we use the reciprocal identity, we can rewrite cosecant as 1 over sine theta. Okay? So we have sine theta times 1 over sine theta minus sine square theta equals cosine square theta. All right? So what we did here is we implemented the reciprocal identity. Okay. Now, do you see what we can do now? We can proceed to cancel out. We can divide out sine. So sine goes here once, sine goes here once. And then when we multiply this resulting um, product of numbers on the left side, we have 1 minus sine square theta equals cosine square theta. All right, so all we just did is simplify. Now, we can clearly see that we have achieved form 2 of the Pythagorean identity. This Pythagorean identity here clearly tells us that the left side 1 minus sine square theta can be condensed. Okay, so back to number 3. When you achieve the Pythagorean identity, the goal is to try and condense it so that you can have a simpler scenario to deal with, okay? So 1 minus sine square theta in this condensed form can be written as cosine square theta using um, the form 2 of the Pythagorean identity involving sine square and cosine square theta. That equals cosine square theta. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done because we've been able to show that the left-hand side is equal to the right hand side. When you achieve this, uh, you know you're done. Okay, so what we did here is we basically applied the Pythagorean, Pythagorean identity in the simplification. Okay, so this is basically how you show that sine square theta cosecant square theta minus sine square theta is equal to cosine square theta watch this presentation really appreciate it if you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of trig identities and how to prove them do give us a like or a thumbs up your positive feedback is extremely important to us don't forget to subscribe to our channel we upload videos to our youtube page on a regular basis so if you subscribe you get a notification of up of our uploads if you have any questions or comments about um, the video we just went over, or if you have any special requests for a trig identity that you would like us to prove, just post it in the comment section below and we will be more than glad to um, assist you. As indicated earlier, if you take a look at the link in the description, you have the link to the worksheet that has all the trig identities. And also you can visit our website at mathgotserve.com for a wide variety of tools to help you in your studies of mathematics. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.